Hi, in this video, we'll see how to use accelerometer with a uh, Lotus Kit and to display the value in the lab view window. So, I'm gonna use a uh, ADXL 345 accelerometer. So, here uh, I have a true accelerometer with me. So, I'm going to connect this to the I square C pin of uh, Lotus Kit. So, the first I square pin I'm connecting to it. So here we connected it. Let's program for this in lab view. Curl file. Now create a new VI and go to structures. Open a while loop and go to make hub. Go to links. Initialize and close it. Go to sensors, accelerometer, ADXL C45, open, and use read. So far, you know, this close function is not supported. So you don't need to use this close function anymore. So go to create a control. Connect resources to resource and connect all the resources. Mm, I square C channel, we have to right click, create control there, and connect this to this. And we need to uh, create the address for that. And Go for a control and address and select address. Okay, it's completed. And the accelerometer data go on and click indicator. We have accelerometer data here. Let's uh, use a graph for this. Go to graph and pick a waveform chart and go here pick it here and make it as a tree one is for x x and another one is for y and the third one is for z so here we have created a quick components for the accelerometer chart accelerometer waveform and change this one to accelerometer so that's it we have created this thing and just connect this to your output chart that is the output of the ADXL accelerometer. So it's over. So let's. Uh, and one more thing is that we need to connect the serial port. So go and create control for serial port. We have created everything. So go and pick your serial port. It's already in the I square C channel 0. I'm going to choose a different address. So that's the address that is connected to the I square C address. Let's run the program and check how this program works. So I'm going to run it. So here you can see that. Uh, getting the data from the accelerometer. So here the waveform chart. If I just move this, so here you can see the changes in the accelerometer in the waveform chart. So how it is getting varied. So this is can be seen on the screen. So let's up here